now it's time to go all in on used books. What's up guys, Beard King Picker here. I sell used books on eBay and Amazon and I also sell on a couple other platforms like Macari and Poshmark. A little bit of everything but mostly books. So recently I bought a whole bunch of books on an online auction which is the first time I've ever sourced doing online auction. Some of the books I could research that I could see, I researched those and they were worth, worth money investing in them. And then some of the lots, there were just a ton of books for very cheap that I got for around three to five dollars. So I bought a ton of them. Overall, I spent around $269. And so far I've gone through two boxes full. Here's some more right here that I need to list. And I've listed about 20 so far ranging from 10 to $15. A few of them been over $50 for a single book. Currently I have 320 single books listed, also a few book lots listed down here. Let's go into the garage and check out all the books that I got at the auction that I still need to go through. So here are the books that I got through the online auction. Whole bunch of boxes. These ones I've actually already gone through. These are duds, these two right here, but the rest of these I still need to go through. These are ones that I could visually see, so I know those are worth money. I know these are worth money, but there are boxes like these two here that are just completely random that we have to go through. So what I do is I fill up one of these plastic clear tubs, bring it inside, and search every book individually for Amazon and eBay comps. All right, so here is the box of books I grabbed from the garage. We're gonna dig through all of these and see what we can find here full box right there. Whatever isn't worth my time goes into my dud box that I have sitting on the side of me. And these will go to McKay's and they'll give me a little bit of money for these books. Okay, so the two first books I went through are complete duds, so they're just gonna go into my dud box. But I did find these books. Now, two of them aren't worth anything. One of them by themselves is worth something on Amazon. But I'm thinking together, since I have the whole series, I'm gonna list these on eBay for the whole series for around $34 and see if we get any offers or watchers on that. Let me show you the one individually. I'm pulling up Scout IQ, and that is what I use for Amazon FBA or FBM if you wanna fulfill them yourself. Scan this. It is selling for $22.45. Um, FBA and I would make if I sent it in I would make eleven dollars and fifty five cents but like I said I rather list them as a set on eBay for around thirty four dollars so we're gonna set these aside for eBay all right there's actually a lot of fantasy books in here which these ones look cool too it's fantasy books I will scan them on Amazon selling for about six dollars not worth me sending in and usually if it's not worth anything on Amazon for the most part, it's not going to be worth anything on eBay unless it's a very rare book or an autographed book, then it'd be worth looking up on eBay. But these are duds, but I'm kind of interested in checking these books out, so I'm gonna set these aside for my personal collection. Next, we have this beast of a book right here. Scan this, and we got a ding right there. This is selling for about $15.99 on Amazon. We'll make about $4.59. And this is ranked 11K, which is really good for Amazon. And the e-score is 151, means it's selling as fast as it can sell. Comes to Scout IQ, that is what you wanna be looking for, that rank score. This book is selling every day. It's gonna be sent in to Amazon. I set this back here. I got a box back here of just Amazon books. Now I haven't really been selling on Amazon as far as books goes for a while. When I first started reselling, I was selling books on Amazon for the first two years of me being a seller on Amazon. All I did was books and we were doing about 50K worth of books every year. That is not what I was taking home, but I was taking home around $15,000 and that is not bad for a part-time gig because I was only going out sourcing three times a week, but now I'm full-time and I've been dedicated to doing books on eBay. I want to do eBay and Amazon together few uh, DVDs in here, some karate DVDs, brand new. I'm gonna look these up later on eBay and set these aside. That is one thing I need to get ungated in DVDs on Amazon. These will probably sell on eBay. All right, we got another fantasy book. 
just a little paperback. These usually, I don't even scan these when I'm out sourcing. They're not really ever worth anything. Yep, that is a dud. Um, I will set this aside because I believe I might have more of this offer. And then if they're not worth anything individually on eBay, what I can do is lock them all together as a book bundle, get a decent amount for that when you lot them together. I'm not wasting my time on a single book if it's not gonna be selling for at least $15. Ten dollars. Sometimes, if I know that it's going to sell really quick on eBay, then I will send. Then I will list it. But for the most part, on eBay, I want fifteen dollars profits and up. More fantasy books. Now this one shows that it's green for Amazon, but it's really not. Brand new. I can buy the book for fourteen twenty nine. Someone on FBA has it listed for twenty four dollars, but Amazon itself is selling it for fourteen dollars. So I'm not going to compete against Amazon. If I were to undercut Amazon about 30 cents, I could possibly make $4. I'll have to dig more into the keep -a -graft on this one to see if it sells for that much. Another dud right here. A few other duds. All of these are duds, so they're just going to my box that I take to McKay's. They've actually been giving me about 10 to $15 per box that I bring in there, so it's not bad. All right, here's a cool fantasy book. Not worth anything, but I am intrigued with this cover, so I'm going to set this one aside. I'm going to set it aside, maybe check it out myself, or just put it in a death pile of books that I never get to read. Here's another book, not worth reselling, but does look interesting. I was actually talking to Shane over at Soda City Flips about this book. He has this book sitting in his collection as well. He hasn't read it yet, so I'm going to add it to my death pile of books I need to read. Okay, so this book right here sells for like $4 on eBay. I'm not wasting my time with $4, that's a dud. This one is interesting because, let's look at the sold comps. I took a, it's listed a few times here. Go to the sold comps in the last 90 days on eBay. It sold for $4.12 with free shipping, which I'm not wasting my time with, but then it sold for $11.95, still free shipping. I might try to list it for $9.99 plus shipping and see if we get any offers or maybe it'll sell. Mm, yeah, I got, I'll try. I mean, they are on eBay. These ones are interesting. They're on eBay and there's no sold comps, but some people have it listed from 10 all the way up to $21 on this one. S same with this one. The prices of the offers on this are all over the place. I haven't seen any sold comps in the last three months. That does not mean it's never sold. So I need to jump onto the computer and look in Terapeak and similar to Amazon's keep -a graph where you can go back many years to see what things the items have actually sold for. So I'm gonna have to do a deeper dive on these two books on eBay. This one is $33.30 on Amazon. So I'll make $22 on that one if I send it in. Definitely worth my time. I'm being very surprised on these fantasy books because novels and fiction books Usually not what I send to Amazon, but these ones are selling good. This one, $18, so I'll make about $8 profit on this. Winner, winner, not a good winner, but make about $4.64 off this one if I decide to send it in. Trying to stay above $5. This is actually in really good condition. This book right here sells about $20 on Amazon. I'll make $9.49. If I send it in but that is just for the standard edition this book right here is signed by the author so this is gonna go up on eBay probably lists around 30 or 40 dollars for the signed edition on this book awesome find right here definitely made the time of going through all these books worth it just with this one book if I get 40 bucks for it all right, guys, we're into the good money now. This vintage book right here, very, very fragile from, nine, ooh, what is it, 1890. This will be listed on eBay for about $34. And here is another one, Biblical Antiques. I haven't seen a sold comp on this, but I do see two people have it listed around $60, so I'm gonna do a deeper dive on this one, but probably will be listed around $60 on eBay. This is the type of stuff that I love to find, I love to list, and I love to sell on eBay. Super excited about these two, and there's still some more old books down here. Five more books to go through. Hopefully we'll find some more big money down here. Okay, two interesting finds here. First up, 
we have this book right here. I found it on eBay and a books. This is from 1851 on eBay. It says trade paperback. This is a hardcover edition. They have it listed for around $30. And on Abe Books, I found a listing for $95. I'm going to throw this up on eBay for $50 and see what happens. And here is another vintage religious book. How to Read the Prophets. Not in very good shape at all. It is taped on the side here and then handwritten what it is. You open it up. You can tell it is falling apart here. This is the problem with buying online auctions is you can't see every book. Sometimes it was just books spread out on a table so you really couldn't research all the books and then you couldn't tell what all the books were. But this, there's two listings around $20 in better condition so this is gonna go up for about $15 and we'll see what happens. But still really cool finds. Okay, so here's something with this number I can tell that I bid on on purpose an auction. 111 here. Just look this up on Terapeak again. So I hope I didn't pay more than $5 for this, but this is selling for around $25 for this set right here. Mine is in very good condition. Some people believe this will sell for $100. They have it listed on eBay for $100, but in the last three years or two years, I'm sorry, it's only sold three times and that around $25. So I rather move mine quicker. I know it's a long tail item. Most books are, especially when you get into these rare and vintage books but I will list mine at the lowest at $25. And last book we have, a very, very fragile book. It is from, let's see, 1886 Daily Prayer Book. This will be listed on eBay for $40. So that is, you guys saw all the books I have in the garage. That is just one little tub that I brought in. You guys see the potential profit that I have there. We got six things that are gonna be sent in to Amazon. Nine books right here that are gonna be listed on eBay. One book set right here that'll be listed on eBay. Still a few other books that I'm gonna do a deeper dive into, some autograph stuff that I found, but Buying in bulk, is it worth it? All it takes is one book. I could have found one book that paid for all of these. I already know I'm gonna make money off this deal. I paid $269. I got two books already listed at $50 each. I showed you all the prices, what I'm listing all these at. I will be perfectly fine. I know there's more profit in that garage that I need to pull out of there. So I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna start listing these. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content as well. I'll be having some other videos coming out on books as well. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions for me. You can also reach out to me on Instagram. Just direct message me. I'll be happy to answer any questions that I can. All right, guys. Keep on picking. Keep on flipping. Beard King, out. What the heck was that? Sounds like someone's outside my house. We're gonna go check on that. I'm gonna do a lot more book, book things.